Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another daily dose of internet reaction, and this one is a video from months back. This is like eight months ago, I think, seven, eight months ago, because I've, I've reacted to his most recent video, so I thought, let's just go back to some of his older ones. And yeah, this one is eating a cow without hurting it. I mean, based off the title, I don't really know how this is going to be. I don't, there's probably some science behind it or whatever, but I'm interested. I mean, his titles always do interest me, but I'm really interested to see what he actually means by this, but... Yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy. Hopefully this helps your day a little bit. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying these videos, just people enjoy them, like sort of seeing them when they wake up in the morning, which is good. That's what I wanted this to be, basically. But yeah, let's just get into this one. Quick shout out to my Instagram and my Twitter in the description, same for my Patreon. But yeah, let's just get into this one. Hello, everyone. This is your... I don't know what to expect. Eating a cow without hurting it. See, I'm, you know I'm not the smartest of people, so I, again, there's probably some sciences behind this that I've never heard about, but... Daily dose of internet. Scientists have discovered how to eat the meat from a living cow without hurting it. What they do is harmlessly extract a very small amount of cells from the cow. Those cells are then taken to a lab where they grow into large pieces of muscle. Within three weeks, you have an actual piece of meat from a cow that is still alive, happy, and healthy. What? Wait, what? How? Wait, so could you just extract the cells from that same cow like a thousand times, a million times, and you can just do this? That's mental, bro. I don't understand how science can even do this kind of stuff, man. I remember learning in geography. Was it geography? I swear, it's is it geography? Not geography. Do you learn about cloning in geography? There was that... Was it the chicken that was cloned or the pig that was cloned? Wait, I've got. I know this has nothing to do with the video. Um, cloning pig. Was it pig? There's that one animal that got cloned and it lived for like years. Animal. No, I want to know the name of it. There's a name for it. I know someone will know in the comments. I learned about this. I swear it was in geography or science. I'm pretty sure it was geography. But it wouldn't make sense if it was geography, would it? I can't fully remember, but... It's kind of similar, obviously. This is to a different degree. Like, cloning is next level. But this is still, like, nuts. Like, ridiculous, man. I bet it tastes amazing. Look, it looks so good, but... But science is... It's just nasty, man. It's crazy. This guy let go of a balloon in a library. Oh no. <laughs> this scientist is collecting samples day. of lava to be studied later. Bruh. I mean, fair enough, but you're, you're on a mad one, man. Look at the water just boiling, man. Imagine that drops in your foot as well. It just spat everywhere. <laughs> this guy found a possum that was pretending to be dead. <laughs> Possums are some ugly ass animals. I've never seen one. I don't actually know if they're in the UK, but if I saw one of these, I would run, man. I'm not even recording this, man. Even if it looks dead. I think they'll just kind of open their mouth and lay there. But as you can see, <laughs> he's still alive. He's just, uh... <laughs> Pretending he's gonna the, bite uh, you, bro. Dead, playing possum, as they call it. Oh, that's the saying. Playing. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. I don't even know. Don't really bite or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Imagine so waking up and looking at a view like this every single day. <laughs> Mate, I mean, to be fair, you can't see anything, but that is nuts. I mean, it's the, cl it's the clouds, isn't it? Gee. And someone lives there. Wait. I got to the view from the house. Like, Imagine waking inside. up oh, and sure. looking at a view like this every single day. Mate. That is next level, bro. Look at the garden as well. That's such a weird garden. Like, on the hill, they're growing stuff like... On the hills. 
Mate, you're living here, you're living lavish as hell. <laughs> These cows couldn't stop licking this cat. Cows licking the piss? <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. I mean, just stop, man. Cats love it, though. <laughs> I'm so mature, man. <laughs> These two ants found a ladybug and tried dragging it away. This is so cool, man. These kind of close up um, views are insane, man. Bro, look at them trying to grab it with their, their claws, bro. You ain't having any of it, man. He's staying put. What the hell is. Is this, is this um, man-made or is this just how it is? But I'm so confused. This looks so trippy. That's Why the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. That is real. What the? That was that was, that was so weird. That looks so cool though. I, don't know. I love these videos so much. I really want to touch the lava. Holy crap! Vegetarian beef. Wait. Wait, would that actually, that's a question actually, would that actually, because I know how PC the world is, I don't, I don't want to say something that's going to offend someone. Would, it, if someone ate this meat from the start, who's vegan, Hello, everyone, this is would it count as eating actual meat or is this like, is it not actually eating meat? Mate, that's a question. Because no animals were really hurt, hurt from it at all, were they? That's a weird, that's a really, really like, interesting question. So into large pieces of question? muscle. Within three weeks from a living cow without hurting it. What okay. they do is harmlessly extract a very small amount of cells from the cow. Extracting cells. Making. Meat. Wait, meat. Meaty, not meat. <laughs> Stem cell meat, that's the ones. Is stem cell meat vegan? If it is, that's really interesting. Lab grown meat is meat, meaning it is not vegan. Dutch scientist post who presented the world's first lab grown burger. Grew cells. He said the most efficient method of cellular agriculture involves. This. Oh. Are stem cells vegan? So maybe in future it could become. Because obviously, I think like the whole point of being vegan is not to... My mum's vegan. I don't really know the in-depth details. Um, isn't it just to, like, s to not eat anything that involves animals in oh, pain or whatever? Those cells know. are then... But maybe in future, that would be really interesting. Like, they could just do this. But I, mean, like, I don't know. But it's just, like, the idea of this is just nuts. I don't even know. I'm probably going to get into some controversial sort of stuff, so I'm not even going to say it. I like how he peels back the skin just to get the good laugh in the centre. Possum plays their dude pets. Possum plays happy dead. <laughs> Just starts smiling. Guy, oh, I'm vegan. I can I eat this? Him, yes. <laughs> Eating a cow without it hurting it. Vegans, interesting. <laughs> he has never clickbaited us. He credits his sources. He gets straight to the point. He isn't a sellout. He doesn't beg us to subscribe. He doesn't violently bludgeon us with advertisements of other social media platforms that he uses. Ladies and gents, I believe we found the perfect YouTube channel. He is a really good channel, man. He does everything just... It's just easy on the eye, and it's just fun to see, man. Again, the short snap. I say it all the time, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. What are your thoughts on this? This is a really interesting topic. I mean... Wait, transforming a leaf into meat? I'll save that for another one. <laughs> that just caught me, off, caught me off guard. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this? This is a really strange one, but I mean... The possibilities of this are crazy, man. But hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.